What's going on guys, Little Guides here, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I've got some elite tactics for you. This will be a, These are going to be multiple tactics that can help you push from gold to elite if you're trying to get your best weekend league finish. Um, these are tactics that I use um, during my elite one finish and you can use with any team. Um, I can show you the team that I'm using, this is the team that I'm using, but you can use it with any team. It's a, the key thing is with having a progressive system is that you have a formation for every system of the game. So if you're losing, you have a formation to come back. If you're winning, you have a formation to close the game out. If it's a draw, you have a steady formation that can still be very attacking, but also be very defensive. So as I said, we don't play the 4-3-3. Three, three. This is just for chemistry purposes. So players get the most amount of chemistry they can get into a game. And then we have four tactics. So if you haven't watched my, this is important, if you haven't watched my tactics videos, I'll suggest watching my tactics videos, I'll explain each one individually. What I have over here is a defensive tactic, this is a defense tactic to close out the game. So let's say for example if I'm winning 1-0 or I'm winning 2-0, I will change this more conservative 4-2-3-1. The second formation is my 4 one that you might have seen on my YouTube channel, if you haven't seen that video make sure you go check that out. This is basically an attacking formation, but more of a balanced variation. So what would be, that's the one where the center mid is coming forward. So you're still attacking a five striker formation. But it's a formation to use when it's nil nil, maybe I'm one nil down. Maybe I'm still one nil ahead and I still want to push on. That's the formation I then changed to. And then I'm an attacking formation. This is my 4-1-2-1-2 second variation. You might have seen that video as well. This is my formation if the 4-2-3-1 is not working. If I find that, you know what, I need two strikers up front. Maybe my opponent is playing very wide. And maybe, you know what, I need to go narrow down a middle corridor in the central. The central area is now changed to the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation. And then I finally have the 4 2 2 the video you saw just very recently yesterday on my channel, which is my all-out attack tactic. So let's go first over the basic one. So you might have not seen this before. These are my tactics. This is just for closing out the game. Balanced 4-3, uh, balanced 3-4. This is what you'll probably see all the pro players using because I'll be honest, this is what probably most pro players use this combination. Quite narrow when you're defending, so you're compact, low depth, and obviously um, narrow width because you want to still distribute the ball out to the wing areas and you still want players in the box but not too far too many. Every single person is on comeback and defense, strike comeback and defense, all three cams are comeback and defense, two CDMs and cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover center, left back, right back and stay back while attacking. Now what you can do is you can put conservative interceptions on both of these players and that's what I do. Um, I think this makes the biggest difference and one thing that I've changed this week, one addition that I've changed this week is I put these guys on balanced. Um, I just think this year for me personally, I prefer balance to my defensive behavior. I've always used cut passing lanes for three years now. But I think I prefer balance. I just the way the game goes with counterattacks, maybe sometimes worth the man marking. But that is my ultra defensive, or should I say, the formation I use to close out the game. Then let's say, for example, it's your. Let's say, for example, it's nil nil. Let's say you're using this formation. This is the formation I typically start with. But let's say, for example, you go one nil down, or you need to score another goal. I then have a 4-2-3-1, and this is the one that you've probably seen in my video. The exact same tactics again. Long ball. Why we've gone with long ball? Because don't forget. These three cams, they don't have a get in behind options. Long ball is just saying get in, get in behind. So long ball just means get in behind. So these players are going to be making runs going forward. So obviously it's a more attacking formation. We've got our two strikers on stay forwards. Uh, so that way they're always going to be forward half the time, get into the box. Lamina Ram on balanced. And uh, this uh, one CDM on cut pass lanes, cover center, stay back while attacking certain interceptions and the other one on balance so what would happen is when they're when you're attacking you ideally want the most attacking midfielder over here to come and join the attacks so you end up having a five man attack so you have a five versus four opponent uh, up against your opponent's back four again if you haven't seen this tactic video go watch my four two three one tactic video it's the exact same thing and left back and right back on overlap what's the most important thing in this system is the cam is basically like a second striker so you don't want to play someone like kdb here. you want to play someone like lucas mora someone like ben Yedder, almost a second striker and obviously I just bought Neymar as well just this weekend league and I put him in striker over Mbappe why because I prefer the five star weak foot as opposed to Mbappe's four star okay let's say for example I'm winning one nil or let's say for example I go two one down or I go three one down but I don't want to go all out attack yet let's say it's 50 60 minutes in the game Let's say I'm 2-1 down. I don't want to go all out attacking. That's going to make me too exploited. So this is basically another variation. So if, if, for example, going wide and having one strike is not helping, then I'll go for a more direct approach, um, a 4-1-2-1-2 second variation. Again, the exact same instructions as my 4-1-2-1-2 second variation video. I suggest watching that. Balance, width, uh, depth of three. Um, as I said, remember I said to you, you can also have the drop back variation as well. Because um, this is more of an attacking formation for me, I didn't use a drop back variation. I left it on um, uh, four, 
four width and three depth. And I'm going with long ball so players make runs going forward, especially at left centre mid and right centre mid. High width as I mentioned in the video, players in the box and this time I have my corners and free kicks on too. But just do bear in mind when you have this on too, you might be susceptible to the counter attack. So of course do bear that in mind. Um, instructions of course. Um, I have both my strikers on comeback and offense stay central. The reason why, again, is because I want them to be, I don't want them to be too far forward for my play style. I like to have my strikers kind of when I'm building up. So when you're defending, I like them to be closer. So I can do the quick one twos. Um, cam on stay forward though. So I've got Dembele and obviously he's got low stamina. If you have someone as a cam, like Ben Yedo, who's got low stamina, you can't put conservative interceptions on um, if you want to. But because this is an attacking formation for me, I've gone with balanced. Um, Again, Mbappe and Neymar are the two best strikers in the game. The cam is almost like a second striker. We relegated Promes to like a left centre mid, like an attacking centre mid. We have him on get forward. That's the most important. We have him on get forward. We have the other one on balance. So we have Cyprian kind of doing a bit of both, going back offensively and defensively. And we have Promes, which is on get forward. That means he's going to make runs beyond the strikers. So you end up having, you could argue, three strikers and you can have that cam just in behind. And then you have, of course, Cyprian providing support. Um, with a CDM, um, I use drop between defenders, and the reason why I use drop between defenders is don't forget I use the left back and right back as I mentioned in the video to join the attack. So it essentially ends up becoming like this, so Suzuka drops in between, creates a back three. Um, Cyprian kind of is on balance, if that makes sense over here. And then Promes makes the runs in behind, so you've got a very, very good attacking formation. You still have the wing outlets on the left back and right back, but that's only if you choose to use attacking full backs. If, for example, you want to use it without attacking full backs, that's fine. Um, you can put these guys on a stay back while attacking. And you've still got a very good central diamond over here to build up front. So this is kind of like a two-tail formation. You have basically the 4-1-2 on the second variation, where there's two strikers and a cam, a very attacking solution. So when I'm 2-1 down, I can use that. Maybe when I'm 3-1 down, then maybe I will go down to with using a drop between defenders and having uh, the full backs overlap. Um, again, watch the 4-1-2 on the second variation. I explain how that all works. And then, of course, I have the final formation, the one that I was talking about, the 4 triple two second variation. Um, if, for example, I'm in the game, and let's say I'm losing, let's say, 3-0 and I'm 45 minutes in, I would change to this formation straight away. What I'd probably use is I'll use team press alongside this. So um, what I'll do is I'll use team press alongside pressure and every touch. So I'll use pressure and every touch, and let's say, for example, like if I'm 3-0 down, I'll go straight to team press the D-pad tactics. Let's say, for example, I'm losing 2-1 or 3-1 and it's only like 50 minutes, then I'll leave it on pressure and every touch. That way your AI team is pressing, but you're not going all out attack. You see what I'm saying? That's the benefit of using these progressive style formations. And um, then of course, I've got the width on five. I've got the depth on four, long ball three, as I mentioned in that video. Again, I have a video on this on my channel. Make sure you do check that out where I go through how this works and everything. I do have the corners and free kicks on just a bit higher because it is the attacking formation. And the instructions are basically the same. I've got the two marksman strikers up front. Um, I've got both the cams on comeback and defense. Uh, one CDM. Um, I have both um, CDMs on stay back while attacking. Remember I said to you for the most defensive CDM, you can use drop between defenders. But the way I use this formation, I can defend with two defenders. That's not an issue. But remember, if you want to defend, use drop between defenders, you can do that. And you end up getting a temporary back three. And of course, your left back and right back, they go forward. Remember I mentioned with, the, with attacking full back. So when you do have the ball... These guys go for, and these guys go forwards ends up becoming a six striker formation, and you have your complete six players like this up against your opponent's back four, and that's why I really love this formation. Um, but because of the way I play now, I think I'm comfortable with defending. I use I just use balance uh, or stay back while attacking. Um, but of course, if you're struggling, and you can use drop between defenders, so that's how I basically lay my formation out. Now this formation is the balance formation. I don't use this formation. This is the this is what's used for chemistry. This is my anti counter attack. Well anti-kickoff measure. So let's say, for example, when I have everyone on comeback and offense, you see? Three center mids on stay back while attacking, the center one on drop between defenders, left back, right back, stay back while attacking. Now, why this is important? Okay, I'll explain to you. Okay, so again, this is just for chemistry purposes. I don't, I can't play, for example, a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-4-2 because I won't be able to get chemistry. So this is the best formation for chemistry. I don't use this formation in the game. Then I this formation is the balance formation. I don't use this. The reason why everything is on one, it doesn't mean I'm parking the bus. This is basically something I've been doing for a couple of years now. If your opponent kicks off first, that means you're going to be left on your balance formation. Yeah, of course, you can try to change to, for example, um, uh, your defensive formation, but there's a set period of time before. So like, in, let's say your opponent kicks off first, 
When you change the defensive in the game, it takes some time for the formation to change. You have to either wait for the ball to go out of play or for a prolonged period of time. So basically what I do is um, I have this, but everyone's going to stay back while attacking. So I change the back, I change the defensive straight away, but at least this way until the ball goes out, my players are not running forward like, I suppose you can say like maniacs, should I say. So I would recommend everyone to do this. So this is basically an anti counter anti kickoff measure if that makes sense to avoid the kickoff goals very very smart idea i'd recommend you doing that then of course i'll start with the 4 2 3 one um the more defensive approach and i just kind of suss out my opponent for like 10 minutes then i would go towards the 4 2 3 one use that the entirety of the game normally for me that's fine to win the game um, but if i am struggling what i would do is i'll stay with this formation or i would change to the 4 1 2 1 2 second variation um, and that way I would have a more narrow approach. Now I keep changing between these two as the game goes on. Let's say, for example, I was losing. I'll change to this. And let's say, for example, I was then 2-1 up. Then I'll go back to the ultra defensive formation. So when I, whenever, whenever I'm ahead, whenever I'm winning, I'm always using this formation. If I'm drawing or if I'm losing, I use this formation. And then when I'm losing really bad, let's say I'm 2-0 down at 70 minutes or 2-0 down at, at 3-0 down at 50 minutes. I know I need to get a lot of goals. I'll go straight away with ultra attacking. What you can do, one of the tip is, if you're desperate, let's say, for example, okay, you realize it's 80 minutes. You might be 2-1 down. You might be 3-1 down. What you can do is you can activate constant pressure over here. Now, you may, if you're part of my Patreon, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't know, constant pressure, there's no timer. With team press, there's a timer for team press. But when you use constant pressure, your team constantly press without you having to use a D-pad tactic. So if it's 80 minutes, if you're coming close towards the end of the game, you know you need to desperately get a goal, it's do or die then I would say pause the game and do turn this on to constant pressure. That way you have to save you from using deep power tactics all the time. Um, but anyway, guys, that is basically the video. That's basically my tactics. Thank you very, very much for watching. Of course, I got Elite One with these tactics last week. This is my team. I just purchased Neymar as well uh, just not too long ago. Um, a fantastic player. I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to speak about him. I mean, compared to Mbappe, I mean, Mbappe is good. I mean, obviously, I packed him very luckily, but Neymar is a different level. I did, of course, sold. Uh, I packed Ben Yedda and I sold him and I sold Son. And I sold Kante to finance Neymar and Mbappe. So the rest of the team is garbage for now. Um, but the most important thing is building from the front, letting your front two players carry and everything else can kind of follow along. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time. Don't forget, if you do like this video, don't forget to do subscribe. And of course, see some of my other videos. If you, if you like some of the formations that you see, you're wondering how I do, for example, the 4 2 3 1 or the 4, or like, for example, the 4 2 feel free to check those videos out as well. Take it easy, boys. Thanks for watching and peace out.